okay, don't mind the hair and the crazy no makeup face. Um, because it's crunch time and I've got a lot of work to do. So if you saw my video from yesterday, you saw that beautiful white hair in. We came out of the gallery from dropping off my new business cards. And um, there standing in the parking lot was a large white heron, taller than Elliot, probably is almost as tall as I am. You know how short I am. And um, it was just standing there looking at us. And we got a little bit closer and it flew up and landed on the top of my car. It was so awesome. So I stood there and videotaped the whole entire thing until, and we got closer and closer. And he kept tilting his head to like look at Elliot, like, what are you going to do, kid? And anyways, it was awesome. It was inspiring. So uh, this is what I'm working on this morning using my photographs. Oops, let me see here. How can I get this picture so you can see it? All right, there he is working on him there. I'm adding the colors to the feathers. You know how I love to do that. Get the rainbow colors in there. He had these awesome gray, blue, black legs. They were so dramatic, like these beautiful black, blue stockings. So I don't know what flowers I'm going to put around him. You know how I've been doing the whole garden thing around him and what color, but right now I'm just working with the colored feathers. Let's see if you can see how I... How I do that. Can you see this here? Let me see. Let me get the camera right. There you go. You see his wings. Can you see my paintbrush? I've loaded it up with several colors and then I just pick a feather to highlight like this one right here and I just pull it away and it kind of mixes all those colors. Can you see that there? Let me see if I get the right one here. Okay. There you go. Sorry about the craziness. I'm doing this with my little camera phone. Um, I don't want to put too many, like, because then he's not a white heron anymore. He's a rainbow heron, which isn't so bad, but I just definitely want it to look like highlights and and not um, like it was the full, um, like he's a full rainbow. So here's my color palette smash. I definitely take recycling to the next level because I drive my husband crazy, but this is a butter tub lid. Um, I use coffee can lids and all that stuff for my palettes. They're plastic and the paint peels off of them when it's dry. So it's just piles and piles of color. Can you see that? And then I just smush my different colors here. Green, some red, some blue, some lavender, a little bit of yellow. And I want to just barely touch on his tail here. Again, sorry for the shakiness. I don't want all of these lightweight tail feathers to get too heavy. I want them to stay delicate. Do you see the little bit of rainbow there I'm touching? I hope you can. I'm sorry about the wonky light. A few little dots and, and splotches just to add to the whimsy of him. He was so great. Such an inspiring thing. God is amazing how he adds these beautiful animals just to they care for our land, and yet they inspire us and cause us to think big. So um, it's Thursday. It's almost Friday. But uh, I just hope that you're inspired today and that you go be creative and um, live your best self today, as I'm going to try to do even with my Trump hair. This is not an endorsement um, for any political party. My hair does what it wants. Anyways. Big love to you guys. Have a great day and I will see you soon.